everybody, my name is Sam Kim. Welcome back to Mafia 2. We're on Chapter 10 Room Service. Can't believe that we are already on Chapter 10, guys. It's insane. Where the fuck is the phone? There it is. Hello. Hey, Vito. It's Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right. I'll be right there. But yes, I cannot believe that we are actually already on Chapter 10. And we are two-thirds of the way through the main story. Um, I think this is our closet. I can't... I'm trying to remember... Because, like I said, it's been so long since I've played this game at this point. Uh, expensive suit and hat. Let's do that. Oh, shit. Look at us. Look at us. I, we can't really see us. Man, I went on with a baseball bat, and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey. Good morning, Vito. Marty. What are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man Vito. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Falcone. Hi, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <clears throat> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight. In the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ's this. Sake, put it away now. Okay. What's the matter with you? Okay. You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay. So, now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building. But everybody in a room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today. Just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? i known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. Hey, hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. Gabish. Oh, okay. But hey, if you need it, I got my piece. Right here. Yeah, all right, slow down, Billy the Kid, all right? It's not gonna be necessary. Let's just go. Take my car. 
All right, I'll drive. Just don't go busting it up on the way there. This is our getaway car. Plus, I'm pretty sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together too good. Explosives? <laughs> yeah, for a little fireworks show. Forget you heard that. We're going to the Empire Arms Hotel. Park in the underground parking lot and use the back entrance. So, uh, fellas, come on, tell me what's going down at the hotel, huh? Huh, come on! Well, what are you writing a book? I already told you everything you need to know. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just curious, you know? All this secrecy. Marty, all this secrecy is important. The less you know, the better off you are. And if you keep asking questions, I'm just gonna have to find somebody else to drive us next time. Okay, okay. No more questions. Sure. Or whatever. So you're gonna blow the hotel sky high, huh? Marty! Sorry, sorry. One more word out of you. All right, sorry. Not another word. Cross my heart. And bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. Park in there. And hey, we gotta leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clementi's goons searching us and finding them. All right, Vito and me will go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because we're going to need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente rented the entire 18th floor, the third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we going to get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. Why, you want to wash your shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting <laughs> hasn't started yet. Oh god, fucking Marty. We'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. <laughs> There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here. So don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, always a fucking bridesmaid. <laughs> ah, shit. It's closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck! Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while just in case Num Nut shows up. That lazy piece of shit. Uh, can I help you, sir? Nope. Well, where is he? He goes on smoke break. Uh, he always on smoke break. Yeah. I'm really sorry I couldn't get here sooner. Another minute, you would have been late to your own damn funeral. Sorry, I was... All right, enough. Just get the hell out of here. See? I got it all under control. Come on, let's go pick up our uniforms. All right. Vito, one more thing. Here, put this on. Are you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. Just put it on. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Let's go. Mustache. Ooh, we oui, be. Oui. Hey, you two. Get over here. We? Oui? Clean up this fucking mess, you idiots. Clean this shit up, will you? Somebody's gonna slip and break their neck. Aims the cleaning man. Let's go. Move it. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, come with us. That was fucking Henry. 
Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. Deep doop. Ding. I haven't seen Henry in a while. Hasn't changed a bit. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Hope he don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. I feel like an idiot with this thing on my lip. Yeah? Well, what if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize us. I fucking hope so. I, I don't think that a mustache is gonna... Where the hell you guys been? Somebody spilled something in the conference room. You ain't gonna ask what it is, or how it got there. You're just gonna clean it up. Hey. There's a big meeting starting soon. And the boss ain't gonna be too happy if the place ain't sparkling by then. So if you know what's good for you, you'll get the place spick and span, and then get the uh, fuck out of there. Was that a yes? Uh, please go away. These two are here to clean up the, uh, mess. The mess? Oh, that mess. All right, come on, you two. You'll be the most romantic man of your life. One of the guys who was uh, here before, he uh, tripped and fell. The poor guy hit his head pretty hard. About five or six times. So now there's blood all over the fucking place. And we got a meeting that's supposed to start soon. So you gotta get this shit cleaned up. And you gotta make it snappy. Alright. Fucking pricks. Hey, calm down, will ya? They're not going to be around to bother you much longer. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Give me a hand here. Oh, shit. Uh, that, the, oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow, the blue, and the plus, and the plus, and uh, the red, and match, and the negative, ne uh, the blue, and cross over. Here. Perfect. Okay. The hard part is almost over. <clears throat> Sir Saints, put you back into it. <laughs> Go already. Clean this shit up. Looks like you're done. All right, you can get out of here. Okay, now let's get to the roof. Guy says, really? Bartender says, yeah. He said, don't work so good, though. Guy says, why not? Bartender says, you really think I asked for a 12 inch pianist? Cool. I wasn't talking to you. You're looking right at me. Come on. Still can't jog. Yeah, fuck that, man. I ain't used to this much exercise. Why do they gotta put so many fucking stairs? Vito, <laughs> Vito, hold on. I forgot something. Yeah, this is for you. Just in case something goes wrong. This is nice. Some piece of work, huh? 1911 coal with a modified clip. did you, uh... Holds 23 bullets, so the ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. We gotta go to the window washing platform. Come on. What are you looking at? Yeah, come down and give me a fucking Come in, these guys. Fuck me. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, this is like an oyster. Hold on, hold on. Check it out. Oh. Oh. That's nasty.
Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Get lost. Shit. Okay, you go. Pick up Magnum, 3D revolver. Go, Vito. Ah, you're fucking brave. Oh, fuck. Ow. Takes care of that. I hope nobody heard us again. Ah, buildings like this got soundproof windows, and we're so high up, nobody on the street could have heard us neither. Come on, let's get to the window washing platform. All right, here we go. There is another Playboy right there. What the hell are you two doing? I wasn't done with my. Oh shit! Jesus, okay. Okay, don't shoot. I'll do whatever you say. All right, put your hands behind your back. He ain't gonna hurt you. Here's some tape. Tie him up. You should consider yourself lucky. Everybody else got shot. <laughs> Okay, get on. We got work to do. Hey. How much wire you got? Enough. How much is enough? 
Will it reach up to the roof? Of course not. We'll just go up one or two floors and blow it. So much for you being a smart one. What? This is crazy. What if the explosion takes us out, too? It won't. We'll barely feel it. You better not. If we fall off this thing, you're gonna be dead before we hit the ground. It is pretty high up. Okay. This is the right floor. Use the squeegee Vito, to grab stay the squeegee in and start washing windows so we don't look suspicious. I gotta connect the wires. Let's go take a look. Hey, I mean, they're fine. I, so. I fucking listen to you. I swear, you're like a half a retard sometimes. Right side. 
you next fall, asshole. <laughs> See you next fall. You got? God. Uh oh, you're in trouble. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. This way, Vito. You won't get through there. Go fucking dead. Ah, uh, uh, fuck. The sprinklers are going off. Really? Because I thought it was rain. Really? <laughs> because I thought it was raining. Fix it. Fuck. There's more of them coming. Come on, assholes. I'm waiting for you. Three, two. Get out of there, lady. We ain't got nothing against you. <laughs> Next time, bring a bigger bomb, will you? Hey, how the fuck was I supposed to know Clementi will be in a bedroom? He wouldn't have been if the bomb didn't go off early. Don't worry, we'll get him. I need to grab that again. You shoot like my sister. It's like the first time I've died. Unless it's like, because I do, I do. How do I explain this? Basically, I have died from the cops once before, but it was a, it was an off time, I guess you could say. They teach you that in the army. It was like whenever I wasn't recording. Christ. Yeah, you think it's over? Wrong, assholes. All right, there's two of them. They split up. Make sure you follow them in, not the other guy. You know how to drive, ah. all right? Just be ready with the gun. Don't worry about that. Just follow Clementi. He's in the black limo. Hey, hey Joe, I got eyes too, you know? Oh, good. He got stuck. That's the end of him. Can't be sure unless we check. This is for Marty. Oh, Jesus. Eddie's number. I'll call him. The fuck? Hello? This is Joe. It's done. Everything I got a over. glitch. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left him there. Okay, what about Clementi? Done. 
Don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. The main Sm thing is you Small done. price? Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Yo, Joe, Joe, don't go taking it out on me. It was your idea. Nobody forced the kid to go. I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry? All right, take it easy now. All right, calm down. I'm sorry too. What Got do you think? Ghost, what Joe. Risks? You too. Hey, this was a dangerous job. You took him along, he died. What, you think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. You should go home. Okay, well, just give me a minute to get changed. Huh. I'm sorry, kid. I am so sorry. asking. Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone playing salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun <laughs> around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Vito, you got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Hey, if you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man, all right. Just hurry. All right, how many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. Oh, boy. Vito, you All here? Right. Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door. And just give me a minute, buddy. Had a couple, Jesus. huh? How you feeling? Vito, about time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe, I wonder why. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. You drive here? Ah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to leave? Marty, I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so <coughs> sorry, kid. This never should have happened. Never should have happened. Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was just... You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm gone. Fucking Joe, man. Right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, Thanks, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about... Look, just... Call me tomorrow, okay?
Alright, so I'm in that episode there, so I want to thank you everybody so much for watching. As usual, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. Check out the awesome content I create, including annotations that have any of this video. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!